Hey guys, welcome to episode number 66. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I wanted to give an update on the mangroves because, as you can see, they're really starting to take off. And also, I am now prepared to dose them with fertilizers. I removed the uh, crayfish that were down below and I put the ones that were left um, in this tank temporarily. Um, so now I can dose without any fears of killing anything because all that's left in here are snails and mangroves. So what I did, um, you guys might recall the video on uh, making the auto doser from the Airwick Freshmatic. Um, I now have that set up here on the side and uh, two additions. I siliconed the top here to prevent any leaks and I also siliconed uh, the bottom here where the, the, the tube connects again um, to prevent any leaks uh, especially because my water is uh, higher than my doser. Um, if those aren't siliconed they will leak. So um, this is the model where um, I directly connected the wires I bypassed the batteries, directly connected the wires down to um, this universal AC adapter. So um, I will never need to buy batteries for this. Uh, it can run indefinitely as long as it has liquid. And uh, what I did was I just did a, a test. This is like the third test that I've done, but it's, it's the final test that I'll ever need to do. Um, on this and uh, what I found is uh, well, I, I measured um, I started at 24 ounces and I measured over time uh, the water level and I found that um, on average um, the auto doser will dose um, a third of an ounce per hour and uh, then what I did was I read the directions on the Flora Nova and for uh, plants that are just starting their early growth, it's one teaspoon per gallon. It's a 20 gallon tank. Um, and what that worked out to was um, 20 teaspoons of fertilizer per 55 ounces of water. Um, and that would do for one week. Um, but since um, the fertilizer itself adds to the water volume, I had to subtract that. So what it actually turns out to be, the, the composition of the, of the 55 ounces of water every week turns out to be 51.5 ounces of water and 3.5 ounces of fertilizer. Uh, as you can imagine, this stuff is pretty concentrated. And, um, you know, as these mangroves start to really grow and take off, um, I can adjust that mixture. Um, it says um, most plants during their later growth can take two teaspoons per gallon and uh, plants that are in full growth can take uh, three teaspoons per gallon. So what I'll probably find is that when I start to dose these mangroves, um, the growth rate will take off and uh, I'm going to have to uh, adjust these uh, these lights up again. Um, this is the second. This will be the third time that I've done it, um, so that they're a little bit further away from the mangroves. Uh, because as you can see, like this one here has grown from from this point all the way up until there. So um, I'll probably raise these another six inches or so to give it a little bit more headroom for growth. And what I'll see is uh, probably some, some rapid growth here. And actually, if you look, uh, there's already a little bit of yellowing on these leaves. So I think what I'm about to do is right in the nick of time because I think these plants are starting to starve each other out. Um, and the fertilizer should help counteract that. So what I'll do is uh, get a little bit bigger of a container here, something that can hold at least 55 ounces of water, and then I can mix my fertilizer in, and then I can just you know set it and forget it for a week. Um, you know if if I want a, a larger container, I can set it and forget it for two weeks or three weeks or a month or or whatever, depending on the size of the container. 
Um, and then I'll just have to monitor the growth rate. And if I ever see um, the leaves yellowing again, or if I ever see any dieback at all, um, what that indicates is that I can I can probably up my dosage without any negative effects, um, just to keep everything happy and healthy. And I'm I'm thinking that it's going to be pretty obvious uh, when I'm dosing correctly because things will be growing very rapidly. Um, I'm sure the leaves will start to grow a lot faster and they'll be nice and full large leaves. Um, and when I'm dosing incorrectly, uh, probably too too little. Um, what what would probably happen is um, you know I'd get the, the the yellowing on the leaves. Um, or if I'm dosing too heavily, um, I can, I could also burn the leaves. Uh, so I'll have to, I'll have to watch out for that. But I, I don't think that's going to happen because I have so many plants packed into such a small space here. Um, so that's kind of the plan for right now. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I really want these things to take off. Um, considering the, the last batch didn't do so well. But, uh, I think I've got this figured out now um, and I'm really liking uh, the setup here for for growing them out so uh, I'm hoping that's successful uh, you can't really see down here very well because it's uh, full of algae but uh, just watch as I pan left to right and you'll see all of the roots and all of the lateral rootlets like this tank is just completely full of roots now and as long as I do a water change um, once a week, uh, I'll probably continue to take water from uh, the turtle tank here, um, just because it's also full of nutrients, uh, and and replace uh, you know this this water. I'll I'll dump this water, put the turtle water in, and continue to dose the fertilizers as normal, uh, making sure that all the water from here ends up in the in the drain. Um, and not in another aquarium. Uh, I, I should be good, and uh, every week replacing the water will help to um, it'll help to to make sure that uh, everything kind of stabilizes here. Um, you know, m make sure that um, my nutrients or my pH don't get out of whack because of uh, what I'm introducing. But hopefully, uh, auto dosing will allow um, the appropriate amount of, of nutrients to be released slowly over time so I don't shock the plants so that I can continuously feed them uh, over time and uh, I'm hoping that works out really well so that's the plan for right now um, eventually I will need to spread these out a little bit uh, and I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna go about that uh, what I might do is uh, sell half of them and then um, replant uh, the, the remaining ones in a new piece of styrofoam here uh, in this 20 gallon tank just to just to allow them a little bit more uh, space to, to grow and to send off leaves but I am really happy with uh, how tall and how fast um, these have been growing and uh, I'm looking to to continue to stimulate that that sort of growth I have heard that um, you know uh, aquarium enthusiasts who, who keep mangroves uh, red mangroves uh, start to uh, to break the the leaves off the top um, and that's to keep the plants small uh, but that also has a, a negative side effect of um, you know, inhibiting the, the plant's growth. So they might still be taking um, nutrients out of the water, which is the goal for, uh, for uh, like reef tanks. Um, but uh, I want to see how, how fast and how tall these things can grow. Uh, I know they grow into trees, and I know I can't keep trees in a 20-gallon aquarium, but I am interested to see how big I can get them. Because one thing that I, I still do want to do is try to transplant a few of these uh, into my 125 like I had originally planned. Um, and I do want to put them along that back wall there. I think it would look really sweet if those roots could get long enough to, um, to reach the, the, the sand there at the bottom uh, and be thick enough and strong enough so that the, uh, the turtles 
don't uh, knock them off uh, while um, having the, the leaves and the, and the stalk um, tall enough that it reaches um, above the water line. And uh, hopefully, you know, at some point they'll be able to hold on themselves and I won't have to tie them up, tie them against something. So that's kind of the plan. Um, if you're interested in uh, buying some red mangroves, uh, let me know. Uh, I might be opening up some of these for sale uh, sometime soon. Uh, they ship fairly well, but uh, local pickup is, is probably better. Um, just so that they don't have to go through um, shipping. But that's what's going on. Update Monday. Um, things are looking good here. So I'll get those fertilizers added to the water. And uh, we'll check back at a later time to see uh, how the growth is progressing. Alright guys. See you later.